briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a controversial 1978 case heard by the New York Supreme Court Appellate Division, the court decided that minority shareholders could only sell their shares at the same price as controlling shareholders if there was proof of wrongdoing, such as looting or fraud. The case, Zetlin v. Hansen Holdings, Inc., was brought by a minority stockholder who claimed he had not been given equal opportunity as the controlling group to sell his shares at a premium price. Both parties had shares in Gable Industries, which were traded on the NYSE, with the plaintiff owning 2% compared to the defendant's 44.4%. The defendants sold their stock to another company, gaining control and receiving twice the market price for their shares, along with special arrangements made for key personnel. The plaintiff argued that he should have had an equal chance to sell his shares under these conditions. However, the majority of judges decided that as long as the defendants hadn't stolen or cheated the plaintiff, there was no issue with their actions. The dissenting judge argued that the defendants had a moral duty to act fairly and that the plaintiff deserved the same opportunity. Despite this, the court ultimately decided in favor of the defendants, rejecting the plaintiff's claim. The dissenting judge sought to reinstate two causes of action, giving the plaintiff an equal chance to sell shares if the defendants had acted more morally. It should be noted that the lower court may have erred in not considering the plaintiff's claim for an equal opportunity to sell his shares. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.